Revelation shows us God is in charge. Satan has wanted to launch this guy all along. God has a plan. Now you see, you say, how does that affect me? Well, when you hear that you're losing your job or losing your pension or losing your health or that your child is rejecting God and going an absolutely different way and your whole life falls apart because of the lost health or lost job or lost child, guess who wasn't surprised? God. See, the, the first thing we need to realize is that when God looks at, at human history, it's kind of like a flat floor from beginning to end is all in front of him at the same time. God is above time. He's not in it. He's not flowing with it. He is above it seeing, the Bible says, the end from the beginning. You see, he sees the whole flow. Nothing surprises him. Your job, your health, your child didn't surprise God. That's that's an element of the doctrine of God that sometimes we don't realize. Now think of the implications in your life because right here, God is directing the ending of human history. That's what Revelation is about. And, and as we look at this study of eschatology, you think, and, and people come to me all the time. I had people come to me this week and they say, people are hurting. How can you be preaching about that? I says, if they're listening, they'll understand how I can be preaching about that. You see, God is directing the end of human history and he wrote it down over 2,000 years ago. He sees the whole thing. And if God sees the whole thing, he's told us he also sees every individual part. And he sees it with the same precision we're looking at here. Satan is not allowed to launch his Antichrist until the instant God sends that white horseman into the world. Then Satan gets the message, ah, I can do what I want to do. God is running things. God is in control. God is the one orchestrating the events of this universe. Revelation lessons are great, you, but you think, boy, what about me? I lost my job, or my kids are getting bullied at school, or my parents are so ill, all I do is take care of them, and I don't know how I'm going to go on. Or my daughter is dating this fellow at school, and he's not even saved, and, and she's getting turned away from us and the Lord. And that might be one of thousands of different conflicts that are going within us. And you know, that's what life is really about. I mean, most of us, we love the Lord, we have the word and we think about it, and then we set it down and we think about real life. What the Lord wants us to do is to merge those two things. As you listen today, you will note that God knows everything in advance. That means not just the seals that we're looking at in chapter six, but the job you lost last week, the health of your baby that is not yet born, and the outcome of next month's surgery or job interview will not surprise God, even though it surprises us. See, we need to apply the doctrine of God to our lives. A study of Revelation confirms to us the doctrine of God. Nothing misses God's sight. It's amazing how we act like the Lord didn't know that was going to happen. And, and, and people get grieved and then they get upset at the Lord and then they get nervous and they get anxious and then they, their faith is shaken as if the Lord didn't know, which is the center of why he's God because of his omniscience, omnipresence, and that other omni that goes with it, omnipotence, that nothing happens without him allowing it. God is the God who knows all of history in advance. He is the God who is revealed as not passive, and Almighty God is at work guiding every event, watching over every disaster. Now, we look at life waiting for the next thing to happen. God looks and knows everything that's going to happen. And he knows it in advance, and he has already orchestrated what he wants to be the outcome of every single part 
of all the disasters, of all the events, and of every gain in our life, every loss in our life, and God orchestrates it perfectly. That's just simply the doctrine of God.